<laughs> now, Catherine, you are brilliant on roast battles, so I want to play a game with you called Toast or Roast. OK. Yeah? So if you see someone you like, you toast. Cheers! Huh. If you see someone you don't like, you give them a roast. Oh, I see. OK. OK. So, first we have Leonardo oh. DiCaprio. A toast or a roast? See, he's never dated a woman over 25. And that was cool for the true? first what? 25 years of his life. <laughs> <laughs> Even Giselle, he dated her till she was 25 and then she was in the bin. And I think when you're 25, you feel chosen. But what it really is, is that no woman his own age wants to fuck with him. Uh-uh. Whoa. That is a roasting if they have ever, that is a Sunday roast. That's a roast ever. I mean, like, who do you have next? We're not getting on the yacht. Okay. <laughs> Cheryl Cool. I also like Cheryl Cool. The, the nation's sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. She's so tiny, though. If she was born in the winter, she wouldn't have made it. You know? <laughs> tiny. <laughs> tiny. <laughs> and you just, you just, you can't knock her down. Yeah. You know? Like, even God had to go, malaria, she won't die. She's. <laughs> Woman. <laughs> yeah, she's one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Toast. Toast. <laughs> 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 I like her. We got our last one. Oh, uh, took the only Megan viable Markle. ginger cock off the market. <laughs> <laughs> I think she, yeah, she's stolen Prince Harry from right under my nose. However, mm -hmm. I think the media don't treat her very well. I'm excited to see mixed ethnicity in the royal family. Toast. Mm -hmm. yeah. Toast. Yeah. Yeah, get off for Catherine Ryan, please. <laughs> um, I love the story um, about you stalking Anna Kendrick in your Netflix special as well. So I don't really get super starstruck, but my daughter has people that she likes. She likes Miranda Sings, a lot of YouTubers, and Anna Kendrick, who's an amazing actress. And I will stalk a bitch for my child. <laughs> um, and she said, please, mommy, please, can we see Anna Kendrick when she's in London? And I was like, no. She's like, but you're on television, mommy. I'm like, you want to have lunch with Ramesh? I can sort that out. I'm not. Like, but my manager did know her manager. I asked the question, and he yeah. was like, all right, I can't guarantee you a meeting, but I'll tell you where she'll be. She'll be at this posh hotel in London promoting a movie. If you go there, you might see her, but if you do, the child has to remain calm. Mm -hmm. I was like, don't worry about my child. She's so calm. She's very fancy. She's a really good kid. Yeah. I always say we're not like a mom and a 10-year-old. We're like two 10-year-olds, but one of us has cellulite and a credit card. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then uh, I took her to the hotel, and we sat right outside the press day, like right outside, hoping we'd see her on the way in. But she came around the back. We didn't see her. And I thought, oh, there you go, Violet. We had a fun time. You don't always get what you want. And then I heard the little clickety-clack of Anna Kendrick's heels coming yeah. towards my child. She walked right up to Violet and she goes, hi, you must be Violet. And I burst into tears. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, oh my god, she loves me so much, she loves me so much. <laughs> and Violet's like, oh, sorry about my mummy, she's Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> 